All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to I Command, and we've got a, another game log review from round one of the June monthly tournament. This is <coughs> our final tournament uh, for the season nine ICP season of Skirmish. Uh, before we go into season ten, we're going to be starting uh, playtesting in July, which will run through August, and then we'll have another four months of tournaments for season ten. But uh, we've got another fun one. I'm excited to bring some fresh matchups for you all. No more Rancors for a little bit, although there are definitely some Rancor players in this tournament. <clears throat> we had 14 players, and uh, I found this game being played uh, by Kyle versus Rivian. And I'm excited to showcase. We've got some cool figures here to showcase, but I'm especially excited to see Cal Kestis getting some love and play in the tournament. Uh, and Kyle's a longtime player. He's been with us since the uh, FFG days. Um, and so he has been playing for quite a bit and has played quite a lot of AACP. So it's good to see him back playing in our skirmish vassal tournament here. And he's playing a force user list. So we've got uh, Cal Kestis with Kanan Jarrus, uh, Farm Boy Luke, or Hero Luke, 7 point Luke Skywalker. Uh, also, Leia Organa, and then we've got uh, Channel the Force, Yoda, C-3PO, and R2-D2. Uh, and Heir to the Jedi on Luke. And then we've got Rivian up in the top left of the map playing an Empire list, and he's got two Scout Troopers, both with the new Vader's Finest from Season 8. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up here. He's also got Thrawn, and then excitingly, he's got Kane Somos, uh, which is a fun leader for troopers. Here is the Vader's Finest card. And then he's got Aiden Versio to round it out, who's a spy trooper. Uh, Aiden Versio has Suppressive Fire, so that will be interesting to see what he's doing with that uh, tech. Suppressive Fire was a, a skirmish upgrade attachment created. I think back in Season 2 of IACP, so this card's pretty old, at least in IACP years. It's crazy that we've been doing this for five years now. Um, and then we've got, I mentioned Thrawn, and he has advanced comm systems on Kane, so he can reach out uh, further than adjacent. He can reach out to three spaces with his firing squad ability. And we've got Zillow Technique, but no Rule by Fear or any other skirmish upgrades. So just Zillow Technique as his um, universal skirmish upgrades, but he's got, like, like we said, attachments on Scout Troopers and Aiden. So the Scout Troopers are going to be able to self-focus once per group per round. And that will be big in giving them some offensive punch. Looks like Kyle has the initiative round one and has chosen the red deployment zone. We're playing on Waska Hunting Grounds here. Uh, again, this is round one, week one of the tournament. And this is just like the last tournament report we did. This is just the caches are worth four points each, and the difficult terrain is regular difficult terrain. There's no strain on this one. So going to be a little bit tough for Kyle to try and close the gap here with his melee figures, but let's see if he can do it and if he can weather the weakened condition that these scout troopers are going to be dealing out with their expose, exploit weakness and uh, find weakness abilities. <clears throat> so, looks like Kyle is starting off with R2, and I should mention Kyle has seven activations, and we've got one, two, three, four, five activations for Rivian. So Kyle going to be able to get the last activation this round. Uh, looks like Thrawn is activating, and I think we also saw... Uh, oh, looks like planning got discarded by Thrawn, so Kyle's planning sent to the discard pile by Thrawn's ability. And Thrawn going to go stand on the terminal. Also gave out, looks like an evade token to one of the scout troopers. Okay, C-3PO going to focus up Cal Kestis. Cal Kestis is going to be very useful, I think, on this map, thanks to his wall run ability, which uh, lets him ignore terrain if he follows along with some, the walls. And he could jump the gap here, as this space is adjacent to the corners. Of, shares an, a corner with a wall. So he might be able to, if he can open this door, he'd go, like, cut here, here. I don't know how much space 
uh, movement points that saves him, but it'll save him some. He could definitely cut this one. Um, he can cut these two, so it'll it'll be cool to see how Cal Kestis uses his wall running abilities from the video games to traverse this swampy map. Okay, and it looks like a strain being taken. Oh, maybe. Oh, I see. Um, using channel the force here to search out. Oh, this is Yoda. Okay, so Yoda's activating. Yoda is using his wisdom ability to draw a card. And if he draws a card that way, then he puts a card from the hand back on bottom of the deck. However, uh, Channel of the Force is replacing the draw with a search. So since he's not uh, drawing a card, since he didn't draw a card, he doesn't have to put a card back on the bottom. And instead gets to add a Force user card to his hand from his deck, which is going to be Force Push. And going to take one strain on one of his Force users. So Yoda's going to take a damage one strain as damage and going to focus up Luke Skywalker with that uh, do or do not ability. Okay, Scout Trooper going to take a focus with Vader's Finest and the other Scout Trooper is going to move all the way over to the far right. <clears throat> and because the Scout Troopers uh, have the camouflage ability very similar to Mac from the campaign, Rivian can expose his scout troopers a little bit more than you normally would uh, and not have to worry about the ranged attacks from Luke and Leia here as they'll have to get up pretty close past the difficult terrain. So this is looking like it might be a tough matchup for the Jedi. Okay, uh, Kanan is going to move. I'm not sure what the uh, highlighting the spaces is for, but going to move up next to R2. Interestingly, Aiden opening the door for Rivian here and going to use her droid kit ability to get a damage power token from her droid companion, Dio. Luke Skywalker going to move up to stand next to Kyle's door without opening it. So he's ready to open it with the first action next round and then we'll be able to use the second action to attack once he does so. And now the second group of scouts moving up to control the cache while one of them focuses up. Uh, now Rivian has positioned his scout so that Luke won't be able to attack the scout, but he could certainly attack Aiden. Um, I think do they? Yeah, the scouts don't block line of sight if you can't see them, so he can't use them to block line of sight. Okay. Uh, oh, not going to go for the cash. So Rivian not controlling any cash caches currently, um, but he still has. I think he. I thought he activated Aiden. Um, so I think he just has Kane Somos left to go, and Kyle down to just uh, Cal Kestis. So Kane going to move up onto the terminal, and yeah, Rivian not controlling any caches here. Let's see, if he had been on that right cache, he could have been attacked from one, two, three. I mean, Kyle would have had to come up here to be able to attack that scout trooper. Okay, gonna have Cal stand on the terminal. I don't think Cal could have gotten an attack there. One, two. Interestingly, Cal can sneak past this one since it's adjacent to that wall. So he jumps over, lands on the wall, keeps going. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's the end of round one. Okay. So nobody controlling any of the caches. So no points. Rivian going to get initiative going into round two. Uh, and oh, it looks like Rivian is just passing as Yoda is going to be activating first. So Yoda going to focus up. Oh, first going to use wisdom to grab force rush. Zero points gets two movement points to a force user. Zero cost, so it doesn't take any strain for that one. So Kyle building up his hand using the Channel of Force and Yoda combo 
But Thrawn gonna try and get rid of some command cards here. Looks at his own top of the deck. Going to, oh no, we got Luke, Son of Skywalker. Thrawn grabs the Son of Skywalker off the top of the deck and into the discard pile. That is gonna be rough for Kyle. Not gonna be able to use that card, although he does have Leia, so if Leia can shuffle it back in, and R2 can then draw it, he might be able to be able to use it this round. But certainly would have been much better for Kyle if he had drawn it with R2. And Thrawn just gonna open his door and then gonna move back. Okay, R2 gonna draw a card. Okay, so not gonna not gonna wait for Leia to um, shuffle Son of Skywalker back in. And then looks like <clears throat> Rivian passing again. So Leia gonna activate, and interestingly, Leia's gonna play Force Rush as she, uh, her ISCP version does have the uh, Force user tag. We're gonna play Force Rush here. Gets two movement points. Oh, Negation stopped it though. So still gonna open the door, and she still has a double tap here on Aiden, and both are focused. So both Leia and Leia be able to attack here. I think what he was going to do is open the door, attack, and then have Leia move back into cover. Or at least maybe move back next to Yoda. But now, unfortunately, Leia is going to have to stay where she is and not have uh, Yoda there to provide cover for her. Alright, where's my dice? Oh yeah. That is not looking like a great attack for Leia. Really good roll for Aiden. Um, so what is that? Four. Search for plus two. So one damage. Which gets the accuracy. And then military 50. So not great. Oh, she does have a reroll from Luke. So that's great. So that is really good. So that's going to be six with the surge. So three damage into Aiden. And going to shuffle that Son of Skywalker back into the deck with military efficiency. And now Luke gets to attack. Gets plus one damage with Heir to the Jedi. Another triple block for Aiden. Uh, Luke gets one more blue. Wow, that's a good roll though. Seven, eight, nine. So that's going to be six damage. Oh, and he's got the reroll. Whoa, did he make it worse? No, it's the same. Yeah, that was a good. That was the correct reroll. He could only get better with a reroll there. So. Um, still the same, 7 minus 3, so 4 damage. Unless Rivian pitches a card, which it looks like he is going to discard Celebration to Zillow Technique to add a block. So going to take 5 damage from that. Or no, am I wrong? 9. Yeah, because he's got 9 minus 3 is 6, so going to take 5 damage. So Aiden took a good amount of damage, but still standing after that. And... Looks like Aiden's going to return fire here. Oh no, this is the scout troopers. Okay. Interesting that he's activating the scouts. <coughs> Instead of activating Aiden before she would seemingly die. Uh, oh, is this Kane Somos? Oh, hold on, what's going on? Scout trooper activating... What's going on here? Is this Kane Somos doing a firing squad? And then I see Deflection being played. And Knowledge and Defense. So that's going to add a black die and deal one damage and apply minus two accuracy to the attack results. I'm not quite sure who's getting attacked, although I see the plus one block. So that tells me, that tells me this is Luke being attacked. Luke has not activated yet, so Luke is still going to be able to attack this round and use that Recover 2. So Rivian's going to have to push through this Recover 2 if he decides to target Luke first here. Uh, but it looks like it is a Scout Trooper attacking. I don't know. Oh, I think I know. I see. It's, uh, I think Rivian must have played... Rivian must have played uh, Concentrated Fire here. So, 
uh, Kane's almost took a stun to add a red die to the attack results, or to the to, to the dice pool. I just can't see the card. Um, okay, so two red dice, a focus, and a blue die. Uh, we've got two blocks, one evade after the find weakness ability is applied. It's minus two accuracy, plus three accuracy, so there's four accuracy on the dice. Plus a surge for plus three accuracy. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think he I think he barely makes accuracy here through the deflection. And then I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, he doesn't he needs that surge for accuracy because of the evade there. So what is that? Five? Against two blocks, so three damage into Luke here. Oh, it does have a reroll with the uh, exploit weakness. Oh no, no, oh, no, it's professional. I'm sorry, he has a reroll with professional. It's the same result though. Doesn't have exploit weakness. You have to, you, they have to spend one of their surges to um, apply the weaken with the pierce one. Okay, so it is still three damage to Luke. And gonna move back. And now number 1B gonna come up. I'm going to make the same range 7 attack uh, on Luke here. And oh, with that evade, which you probably don't want to see since the minus 1 evade's applying. Uh, plus 3 accuracy, so still gonna have to use the surge for accuracy here or risk a reroll and lose the surge I don't think it's worth it on the reroll you'd have to roll that's a one in six chance to get the accuracy you need without us uh, without the surge so looks like he's doing two damage if he wants that accuracy oh Luke using the reroll from Kanan but unfortunately it gets a blank which is pretty much the same as what he already had so so two more damage to Luke, but Luke escapes without taking any harmful conditions there. And it looks like Luke is going to activate and going to take the f attack on Aiden. Luke attacking Aiden, who gets another triple block, but I don't think that's going to save her. And Aiden goes down. Uh, importantly, Dio does not, although... Maybe in this game it doesn't matter, but Dio as a companion just sitting there can sometimes matter. Uh, but that's going to be 7 points for Kyle. The 8 points because of the suppressive fire. Okay, and Luke just going to stand next to Yoda. Didn't use the force deflection um, last round with Yoda. Let's see if he does it now. Oh, he did redraw Knowledge and Defense, so Luke is going to use Knowledge and Defense here against this uh, Scout Trooper attack. I'm assuming this is 2B, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, range 5. So he's got accuracy on the dice this time. He's canceling out the evade result, and so he's going to have both surges available. So that's going to be 5 plus 2, pierce 1, against 3 blocks. So 7 minus 2, so 5 damage and weaken this time on Luke. Luke is going to re-roll his black die with Kanan, but again, same result, so... Oh, Kanan has uh, his command card, though. Protect the old ways. Well, figure is defending. Uh, apply plus X to the defense results, where X is 1 plus the number of force user cards in the discard pile. And we've got two force user cards in the discard pile, plus... Knowledge and Defense, so that that's actually going to be plus four blocks here for Luke. Uh, is that going to be enough to completely stop this attack? What did we say he was doing? Seven, five, six, seven, pierce one against... <clears throat> against four blocks, seven blocks. I think he's going to do one damage and weaken here through this, through this uh, card, so... Oh, they're doing two damage, so I must have missed something. And not using Yoda there. I'm not sure what he's waiting for. Maybe waiting to put damage on Thrawn or Kane Somos. But here comes 2A. 
Oh, no, wait. 2B just took... Yeah, he just used Yoda's Force Deflect, so... Alright, so... Here comes 2A. And finish off Luke. Now doing minus 2 uh, evades. Oh, but Kyle's got to get behind me. Oh, who's he going to have take it, though? Can Kanan take it? Move three spaces. One, two, three. No, Kanan can't get there, so it's going to have to be Cal or Leia. Which, I mean, Leia might not be bad. Oh, he's going to have Cal Kestis take it. Okay. Um, that's Unfortunately, Cal is going to be outside of Kanan's reroll range there. One, two, three. If he moved... Oh no, even if he moved one space to the right, he'd st he's still out of range. But that l makes it much easier for Cal to get an attack. Okay, so one block. No surges unless he rerolls. I would expect a reroll on the blue to try and get a surge here to weaken Cal, but nope, just gonna go for the damage. So Cal takes five damage. Um, why is the activating? One, two, three. Oh, I see. Thrawn already activated. That's right. He forgot to exhaust him. Okay, so looks like Kanan's going to activate. Going to double move to control the cache. And use force push to grab Kane, uh, Kane Somos. Interesting. Oh, because Kane Somos is stunned. So that's going to make it harder for Kane to be able to use Firing Squad. Wow, okay, that was pretty slick. So Kane now has to remove the stun. And he can still reach the two scout troopers. So he can still Firing Squad, but I think they have to both uh, target the same figure. So that's actually not going to work for Rivian too well. Each targeting the same figure. Yep, so he can either have 2A attack Kanan or have 1B attack Cal Kestis, but he can't do both. So, yeah, 2A cannot see Cal. Oh, am I wrong? There's no way. No, he can't see Cal, right? If he draws it to Cal's top right... No, he, he can't see Cal. He can only see Cal's bottom right space. Bottom right corner. So who's he attacking? White dice. So I don't think that's Cal, is it? Oh it is Cal. No defense modifier. So how's he so he must be attacking with one B. Gonna reroll with professional. Does this have enough accuracy? I guess so with the minus surge. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Does he have accuracy? I don't think so. Oh no, because they have a built-in accuracy, so he so he'll have to spend a surge for accuracy here and three damage if he is attacking Cal with one B. Okay, yeah, he did three damage. Okay, and now uh, 3PO is going to activate and going to move to give the distracting bonus to Luke and Leia. Ooh, going to play Devotion to get Son of Skywalker out of the deck. Okay. And now Cal Kestis is going to be able to activate. And then after that, Luke's going to be able to ready and activate with Son of Skywalker. So Cal Kestis, uh, let's see, where did he start? He was, uh, he was here. So if you wall jump, wall runs... Oh, you know what? Wall run gives you move X spaces. I want to know what I was talking about earlier. He just ignores all difficult terrain with wall run. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he got right there and he can attack that scout trooper now with a focus. I think if he had... If he had been one space to the right. But I think I see what he was trying to do. He was trying to block line of sight to Luke there, I guess. Um... A little bit. So if he had been one space to the right, he still wouldn't be close enough to get cleave. So unfortunately, I think Cal is not going to get his cleave abilities off here. But he is attacking against a evasion, so which uh, Rivian just spent on the attack. This is focused. So three, four, five, 
and he has a search for Pierce 3, however Zillow has not been used, so he'll do more damage if he does search for plus 2 damage here. If he does search for plus 2 damage, he's going to do 5, 6, 7, 4 damage to the Scout Trooper. Yep, so search for plus 2 damage, place on a Skywalker, gets the ready Luke. That weekend is a bit of an issue, because he wants to do damage and recover, but he might get both. He gets plus 1 damage on the attack, attacks Thrawn, he's got 1 Surge. Um... So either he does 1 damage or recover 2 damage. Oh no, he does 2 damage or recover 2 damage. I think maybe reroll the blue and try to get another surge. Because then you'll be doing, what, 1 damage and recover 2 damage. Does he? Oh, he rerolls the green. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but he's, mi he's at minus 1 surge. Let's see if, yeah, there it is. So, Luke... Um, and by the way, he gives himself a reroll via the Heir to the Jedi upgrade from Season 7. Normally, he could not give himself a reroll, but with Heir to the Jedi, uh, allows him to reroll his own dice. Alright, so what's he gonna do? What's her, what's his options here? He can search for plus two damage, then he'll do two damage to Thrawn, or he can search to recover and deal zero damage. I think recover two is probably his best option. Yeah, he's gonna recover. Uh yeah, he had seven damage on him, so yeah, he recovers two. And now Kyle is controlling the far right cache, so gonna get four points and is up twelve to zero on Rivian, uh, who's got who had a lot of damage on Luke and then now has a lot of damage on Cal Kestis, but has not been able to get a kill thanks to the power of get behind me. So now initiative is gonna go back to Kyle. Let's see if and Kyle oh, has Kyle used his negation? I don't think so. Gonna play second chance on. I'm not sure who he's playing it on. Oh, wait. I'm going backwards. There we go. Second chance on Cal Kestis. Nice. So if Cal Kestis would be defeated, he'll recover two damage instead. And are we starting off with uh, an attack here? Is this called the Vanguard? Against a dodge, it looks like. So, Scout Trooper attacks Cal. Cal dodges, and now the Scout Trooper is going to flee. So, yeah, that was called a Vanguard. Cal Kestis going to go for the attack on the Scouts. Rivian put his Scout Trooper right in a spot where Cal can get that Cleave 2. Uh, Cleave 4, in fact, one of his more powerful features. And he could take out this uh, 2A with a Cleave if he gets two Surges. Yep, it's going to go for the other one. Wow, that was a lot of surges. <laughs> he got all the surges. Oh my gosh. So that's going to be 6, Pierce 3, and Cleave 4. Wow. Well, it's going to be Pierce 1 with Zillow Technique. So 6, Pierce 1. It's going to do 5 damage and finish off 2A with the surge with the Cleave 4. That's definitely even more than Kyle had been hoping for. Probably was just hoping to get even 1 damage. One or two damage on the target and finish off the other one with the Cleave 4 ability. But that's Calcestis. Oh, he's going to redraw. So, not going to use Pierce. Is he not going to use Pierce? He's going to redraw Knowledge and Defense. That would be defense. Oh, no, he played Knowledge and Defense. So, this is an attack. Wow, another dodge for Cal. At least he had to use the Knowledge and Defense, though. This is not, this is not looking good for Rivian all of a sudden. Uh, now that scout is going to run to the far corner, and now this scout 1A is going to focus up and then going to attack Cal, who thankfully does, for Rivian does not dodge again. This looks like a good attack for Rivian, though. Let's see if we can get our scout troopers back up here. Uh, so minus one evade really hurts the white dice there. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, pierce one, and weaken. I think that's going to trigger Cal's second chance. Oh, did we already trigger second chance? What happened? I must have missed it. I must have missed the second that second chance got triggered. Uh, was it not on Cal Kestis? Well, they're not putting him back, so I don't know what happened. Where is that second chance? Oh, it's on Luke. Okay. So it looks like it got changed to Luke after it got put down on the board. Alright, so let's zoom in a little bit here so we can see some more of the action. Okay. So we've got Leia activating, going to do a battlefield leadership attack on Thrawn. Okay, and I'm going to be able to shuffle back in Son of Skywalker and do three damage here, it looks like. Unless she, she could re-roll the yellow and try to, I don't know, do some more damage. Oh, re-roll the blue, that makes sense, since it's being cancelled. So now four damage to Thrawn. Going to shuffle Son of Skywalker back into the deck and now allows Luke to come up and make an attack on Thrawn. Going to have to re-roll, there we go, needed that, needed those surges. Um... So now doing five, seven damage. I think that's a dead Thrawn and gets to recover, either recover two damage or redraw knowledge and defense. Probably gonna recover the two, yep. So this is one of the hard things about, you don't really wanna just put random shots into Luke if you're not ready to finish him. Because with his recover two, especially when he has Leia, to give him that extra attack, he will often just recover off all the damage you put into him if you don't finish him off. Oh, something happening here with Thrawn. Does he really have a save with Zillow Technique? Isn't he doing like 7 damage? Oh, maybe Kyle didn't want to spend the Surge. Did he re Did Kyle redraw Knowledge and Defense with that? Oh yeah, he, d he tried to do both. Okay, <coughs> so 5... Yeah, Kyle, Kyle was doing five. He was trying to redraw. So I guess Rivian passed on his... So I'm guessing Rivian passed on his ability to modify the defense. And so since Kyle didn't have to spend the surge uh, on the damage, he was going to redraw knowledge and defense. But then it looks like they're backing up and Rivian now wants to um, discard a card for Zillow Technique to stop Kyle from redrawing knowledge and, and, and defense, basically. And so, yeah, Knowledge and Defense is going to stay in the discard, but now Kyle is up 22 to 8. Kane Somos going to be able to use Firing Squad here. And going to be able to have those two scouts both attack Leia. Kind of interesting how these lists are kind of similar in ways with Kane Somos and Leia Organa kind of acting as similar linchpin figures that are generating extra attacks for other figures. Alright, so here's the first one. Blanks out, cancels out Leia's plus one evade with that find weakness ability. So I imagine they're going to go for, he's going to go for the weekend here. Although, maybe not. Six damage is, is pretty good. So, yeah, six damage. Second attack from 2B. So, now Leia's actually canceling out the exploit weakness and getting to keep that evade. There is a professional reroll available, but doesn't get anything. So, two damage into Leia. She's down to just three health, but again, if, the, if Rivian can't finish her off before she can attack again... She could start to recover that damage off, and C-3PO now going to go to control the middle cache for Kyle. It looks like we are getting pretty close to the end game here. And now Luke able to activate. Did he just... Oh yeah, Luke has not activated yet. So yeah, this is looking... So Luke is going to use his Saber Strike ability here. Now that Zillow Technique looks like it's been exhausted. So that's going to give him Pierce 3 on this attack, and he should also be focused. They forgot to focus him from Era of the Jedi. He should be focused whenever he uses Saber Strike now. So that's going to be... Minus one damage. No. No, he doesn't get plus one damage. Let's see if they found it. So right now he's doing four, pierce three, recover two. So kills the scout trooper. 
Keeps moving. He didn't even need the focus, but he should be focused. All right, Archie going to draw a card. Yoda going to go stand next to Leia and Luke and blocks line of sight Leia from the right side. And who is standing on this? Oh, R2 is focused and standing on top of the cache. So Kyle controlling both caches. And Kanan going to be able to just step forward and attack uh, Kane Somos for six. So five damage. Discards a card for Zillow. So four damage. Oh, there's the Son of Skywalker that Kyle redrew, probably with R2. Okay, and this is just going to be a regular attack targeting Kane. And I think this might do it. That is a very good roll. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that's it. Does Rivian, Rivian has no cards in hand because he pitched to the last attack. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered if he had... Not then that was the last card, so we couldn't pitch any extra. So Kane gonna go down, and I think that's probably gonna be it because there's only one. There's two scout troopers left, and uh, Rivian's gonna have a hard time getting the point evened up with the objectives the way they are. So gonna take out Kane, and that's gonna put Kyle. Actually, I think that's gonna be the game because of the objectives. Kyle gets eight points at the end of the round, so he's gonna go to 42. And that is game over with Kyle the winner. Wow, that was a really great game. Um, I thought both played well, but it was really good and to see. I love seeing the Jedi in action. I especially loved seeing Cal Kestis get to do his thing. Uh, I'm kind of sad we didn't get to see his command card get played uh, and see, um, what's his name, BD1 come out. As you can see there, uh, Kyle does play the uh, Cal's buddy card. One of my favorite uh, designs from <laughs> Season 8, actually, is Cal Kestis and his command card. So, really fun. I'm glad I got to see that play out in action. Um, and we'll be back for Round 2, the next game. And we're going to get to see Rivian playing again. And we're going to see some very good gameplay from him. So, thanks everybody for watching. We will catch you for the next one.